Today, Big Brother asked Liz to write an open column to you all, giving her thoughts on some of the situations that have taken place in the house over the last few weeks. Liz, with Dappy as her assistant, interviewed the housemates involved in her subject matter in order to form full and frank opinions on what occurred. Right, the headline is 12 angry men and women. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned how to high five for the first time in my life. I've been smacked full in the face by Evander Holyfield. <laughs> I've even worn a Union Jack onesie. <laughs> but I've also been witness when people don't mumble and look me full in the face so that I can lip read to a hotbed of tantrums, romantic triangles, blood feuds, and a dangerous shortage of wet wipes. <laughs> First, let's take the feud between Jim Davidson and Linda Nolan. Last night, Linda accused Jim of calling her an asshole, which he denies. Jim tells me he has no idea why she hates him. He cannot remember the argument he's supposed to have had decades ago. And I believe him, although he might possibly be suffering from early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> he also denies calling me names, other than describing me as being a slightly odd. But I've been called worse. The biggest story so far, though, has been the love triangle between Lee, Casey, and Jasmine. Having kissed Casey and offered to take her on a romantic mini-break, Lee jumped ship into Jasmine's arms. Exiled to a bolt hole, Lee told a source that Casey suggested they kiss, and I quote, for publicity. He told another source that Casey never really liked him and said to him, why don't you just play along with me? But, according to my assistant, it, and I quote, turn round and bit him in the <laughs> Casey has told me that they kissed in the bolt hole, but it was in the toilet and therefore not on camera and she is not publicity hungry. Lee told Casey that he would not have a romance at all when they returned to the house, but he was all over the American actress slash model like one of Sam's boils. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Lee was in a state, wouldn't go to bed, and would not put on his pyjamas. Casey, I think, in the 12 days that have been the longest of my life, even though when asked to name a city in England, she said Cornwall, <laughs> has behaved with quiet dignity. As she said, I could have thrown things at them in the bed opposite me, but I didn't. That doesn't sound like I'm looking for publicity. My biggest revelation from my time in the house is that adults continue to behave like children all their lives. And as Lionel told me in an interview, they should all stop it, darling. <laughs> and even if young women wear fake lashes and fake tan, have never heard of Fred Astaire or <laughs> Gene Kelly, <laughs> doesn't mean you are stupid and not kind and knowing and confident. And even if you are a young man like Lee, who Jim told me just wants to make others happy and doesn't have a bad bone in his very fit body, I added <laughs> that bit, <laughs> and even if you're covered in tattoos and wear a baseball cap, as Dappy does, doesn't mean they won't hold back your hair and rub your back when you're vomiting. So, well, I think we've all learned things in the house. I think what I've learned most of all, that onesies are very, very comfy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>